Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Jared at 3 Cs Recreation. Today we're going to give you guys a preview of the LS MT1 series. You can either do a MT122 or an MT125, but this is the mower deck. So it's beautiful, it's middle of May, grass is starting to grow, and adding a mower deck to this series of tractor gives you a huge reason to buy a tractor. So not only can you do snow removal, use the bucket, backhoe, but the mower deck is a huge seller. We do a ton of these mower decks. So that being said, just want to give you guys some raw footage of how the mower deck works. It's very easy to operate these tractors being hydrostatic. You just, you just same foot, but two different pedals, forward, reverse. Then we have our PTO engagement. So we'll go through all that real quick with you guys, show you how it works. We'll give you some raw footage of how it actually cuts. They cut really well. It's a quiet operating tractor, so you're not sitting on something super noisy. Uh, so we'll show you the pros and the cons. Let's jump into it. All right, so here's our mid mower deck. They come in a 60 inch deck. That's our only option. And in the winter, we can take this off. So if you do the snowblower, the loader and the mower deck will come off for the snowblower to slide underneath. The first thing other than normal tractor operation is we're gonna select the mid PTO and you can see that we've got that chosen there on the bottom. And then if we come this way, the next thing is just the engagement. So the yellow lever here, that's on or off for the mid PTO. So I'll have Tom start the tractor like we normally do. So go ahead and start it up. And I'm gonna watch out because it's gonna shoot grass out the side. So as soon as he hits the mid PTO, He'll rev it up, he's going to engage it, and it's on. So right away, here we have this set at uh, 2,000 RPMs is what the tractor RPM is set at. It's a pretty quiet mower, so if you have neighbors, it's not going to bother them and in, in for your own ability to use it. You're not going to be choked out listening to a lot of noise. So it cuts so nice, a nice clean path here. This is the first cut out back and none of this is flat out here. So for what you guys are seeing for these brown spots, this is our behind the dealership where we drive machines around to test them. So there's going to just be a ton of, ton of high spots. So not the tractor's fault. That's just us and our property here. What I'd like to show you real quick is how tight this tractor turns. So if we come over here, this is how tight this turned. That was full steering lock, so it does not leave much in the middle there. This is a 60 inch, so it's a five foot pass on either side, and so we're probably left with about a five or six foot middle that you'll just have to clean up on your next row. And then Tom just bumped the RPMs up. You went from 2,000 RPMs to 2,900 RPMs. So you can hear the difference. You can see that it's throwing the grass a little bit more there at the bottom. You can see how bumpy our, this is this is something that we usually brush hog. So for us to use a finished mower out here, um, it, we can do it now because it's so short, it's uh, only beginning of May, but typically this is brush hog. So like I said, with the high spots, that's not the, the tractor and your lawn, it would look much better. So the one thing I didn't mention in the, whenever we were talking about how to engage the mower was to set the deck height. So you can see you have these rollers here that'll keep it from scalping. So you can set, there's different pin heights. You can adjust those there. But what we have here is you're gonna use your, your raise and lower for the three point arm, that blue lever Tom's shaking there. That's gonna raise and lower it. But you can set your deck height with that black knob down there. So it goes from one to four. It's not really inches, it's just settings. So one to four, what you would do is we would start the tractor, we would pick this deck all the way up with that blue lever, and then you would set it from one to four, and then you would set the mower deck down against that with that blue lever again. So. Just wanted to clarify uh, all the features and how to set that. We thought we'd give you a quick preview around the tree. So Tom's approaching it. 
And that's where you have to watch out for that bucket. The bucket sticks quite a bit in the front there. And so if you're mowing and you're looking at the tree behind you, just keep in mind you got a pretty long unit. The cool thing with the MT1 series is you can remove the bucket and the loader. It's super easy to do. You can take that whole loader assembly off of here. So in the summer, if this is primarily going to be a mower for you, you can remove that whole loader and it's very easy to do. But you can see it's got to watch the front of that bucket as you're mowing. All right, that was a quick preview of how to use the mower deck on an LS tractor. They cut very well, and like I said, it's just rough out back here, so that's that's where we're getting some of the scalping. But thank you guys for watching. This was Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Enjoy the summer.